everyone today we will study about numbers and number names and we will do the introduction part so the greatest one digit number is 9 because 9 is the greatest digit the greatest two digit number is 99 the greatest three digit number is 999 and the greatest four digit number is 9999 now we obtain the smallest numbers by adding one to the greatest numbers how let's see so how we can obtain the smallest one digit number it is one only fine so the smallest one digit number is one next the smallest two digit number now the greatest one digit number is 9 and when we will add 1 to it we will get 10 and 10 is the smallest two digit number the smallest three digit number can be obtained by adding 1 to the greatest two digit number so the greatest two digit number is 99 and when we will add 1 to it we will get 100 which is the smallest three digit number now the smallest four digit number is 1000 how when we will add 1 to the greatest three digit number we will get 1000 which is the smallest four digit number similarly the smallest five digit number is 10000 because we have to add 1 to 9999 means to the greatest four digit number and then we will get 10000 which is the smallest five digit number so we see that 10000 is obtained by adding 1 to 9999 and the number name for 10000 is written like this 10000 now the place value chart for 10000 is here first of all you will mention the places that is ones tens hundreds thousands and 10000 and after that you have to put this number 10000 in this place value chart so this last zero will be written at ones place now this zero will be written at the tens place now the next one at hundreds place this one at thousands place and this number 1 will be written at the 10000s place and this is how we can show any of the given number in the place value chart now how to read a five digit number suppose we are having a number 1 2 9 6 now how we can read this number so write down this number and then mention the places above it so start writing the places from the extreme right side that is from the ones place so this is ones tens hundreds thousands and 10000s fine and now after writing the places above the number now we can easily read this number so this 1 and 2 are coming under the 10000 and the 1000 place and both these places come under the under the 1000 period so this is 12000 so we can write the spelling here 12000 then 9 is at hundreds place so we will write 900 and the number at tens and ones place is to be read together so it is 67 and we have to write the spelling so we can say it is 12967 now let us take one more example here we have 10002 again we will write the number and mention the places above it and then we will start reading it so 1 and 0 is under the thousands period so we will say it is 10000 then at hundreds and tens place we have zeros and at ones place we have two so the digit which is at ones place it is read separately if there is nothing at the tens place so it is two so we have to write the spelling of two it means it is 10002 now which is the largest five digit number so if we have to write the largest five digit number so it will be formed by using the largest digit and the largest digit is 9 so we have to repeat 9 five times to make the largest five digit number it means 99999 is the largest five digit number and we can say that 
वन जीरो 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 स्टैंड्स फॉर हंड्रेड थाउजेंड फाइन सो हाउ मेनी थाउजेंड्स मेक्स वन लैख हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एंड इट्स नंबर नेम इज वन लैख हाउ कैन यू से दैट यू हैव टू मैंशन द प्लेस इज वंस टेंस हंड्रेड्स थाउजेंड्स here we have 10000s and lakh so 1 is under the lakhs place so we will say 1 lakh and after that we have nothing all zeros are there so the number name for it is 1 lakh so we can say that 100000 is equals to 1 lakh so if 1 lakh is given it means it is 100 Thousand and if one th hundred thousand is given, it means it is one lakh because both are same. So one lakh is one more than ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine because when we will add one to the largest five digit number, we will get the smallest six digit number. That is why we can say that one lakh is one more than ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. and this 1 lakh is the smallest six digit number now the place value chart for 1 lakh is now mention the places start mentioning the places from the extreme right end that is 1 10 100 1000 10000 and lakh right so 1 lakh for 1 lakh we have to write the last zero under the ones place then under the tens place then hundreds then thousands then 10000s and then one will come under the lakhs period fine or you can say place so this is how you can represent 1 lakh in the place value chart now how to write large numbers see here in this class we will be dealing with the large numbers now how to write large numbers so If a number is given to you that is five nine six five zero, how you will write it? First of all, you will write the number, and then from the extreme right side before three digits, you have to put one comma. Why? Because the last three digit of a number comes under the unit period, and under the unit period we have three places: ones, tens, and hundred. And before hundreds place, we need to put one comma. and then it is thousands and 10000s now let us take one more example 90278 now how it is written it is written as again from the right side before three digits that is before hundreds place we need to put one comma now next next number is 500647 now here in this number from the right side before three digits means before hundreds place we will put one comma and then again this is thousands and 10000s and before 10000s place again we need to put one comma means before three digits from the right side there is one comma then again before two digits there will be one comma now next one 129543 so again write the number and from the right side before three digits put one comma then again before two digits again put one comma and this is how you can write the large numbers using the formula